So I'm going to chair the uh, discussion session from the plenary. The, we have, I think, really two really important abstracts, uh, both, I think, late-breaking abstracts. One is the Stampede, I think f we have to say, really first time reported um, Abby Ratron, but specifically Abby and Enso. Uh, these two arms versus standard of care arm in the patients with M0 disease. So we already reported some of the data together with the metastatic patients of the Abby arm, obviously. But now there is really a concentration, a focus on the patients with high risk prostate cancer, but without distant met metastasis. And um, yeah, I think this is really groundbreaking research. I mean, you know Stampede because you're also English. So it's a, a UK trial with some sites in Switzerland. So that's why I'm also involved in that trial. So to, to just declare here also my bias for Stampede. Um, but I think it's a, it's a really interesting trial design. It's a multi-arm, multi-stage design where you can all like add arms to, and they also have always like a contemporary um, arm with the standard of care in that time. So I think it's a very interesting trial design. And of course, um, we will see the data. I can't talk about it too much. So it's very exciting. And um, I guess this could be potentially really practice changing. So again, this is in the patients where we normally used ADT alone plus minus radiotherapy. And then now adding AB or AB ENSA to this standard of care. So I think that would be um, really interesting. The second one is PS1 also obviously a really groundbreaking study again, was already presented, but the, the progression-free um, survival data at ASCO. And I think we're all waiting really, really um, for these overall survival data that will be reported Sunday. So I, I guess this is also really important new kind of question for systemic treatment should we give triplet therapy? So not only as we do now, ADT plus docetaxel or ADT plus abiraton or ADT plus ENSA or APA. Should we really give the chemo plus the hormonal, the novel, but you still want to call them um, novel endocrine agent together at start of ADT? And um, yes, so I'm really happy that we can discuss these uh, interesting results in, in that session.